Well, with all the computers I still have in the garage that I'm uh, building up for people uh, of low income, that, you know, the needy, um, some my neighbor gives me hers. Uh, we're going to go over this now. This is a Dell XPS 400. Um, some quotes that she told me, her son, it was uh, slow when you got it, and it's slow to the day you put it in the garage, a worthless computer. Well, you know, when you order a new computer and you have Windows XP installed on it, okay, you, know, you got to understand that Windows XP is Windows XP. All right, so so uh, it's, it has to do with the operating system, but um, uh, unless you know what you're doing, it is going to run slow. Now, inside here, there's a lot of dust. Okay, and one thing I do uh, when the customer brings a computer to my house is we blow out, I blow out all the dust. Now, I could go through a whole bunch of these cans, but uh, those are good for minor cleaning. Uh, as you see, the, the lid has to be cleaned a little bit too, so what I use is a compressor. Have that fully charged, and uh, I'm going to go clean this out. We're going to run the diagnostics on it. That's an 80, that's an 80 gig SATA uh, SATA hard drive. There's a video card on it. There's uh, there's no video cards on the motherboard. Uh, there is a wireless uh, card in there, so that's the antenna to the wireless card. It'd be interesting if uh, Windows 7 actually loads the drivers to, to that. That sure looks like a four processor cooler okay a quad processor okay there's nothing on the front saying quad processor but I uh, don't think that uh let's see is that that might be it might be an Intel sticker up in the upper right hand side and um, so with a four on the bottom so it, it might you know the customers really don't know what those look like or what that means so that lo sure looks like the the, the XPS that I use as a uh, for recovering data. Anyway, it'd be really interesting just uh, how good this uh, computer is. There is two memory chips in there. Don't know uh, the value of them yet. I haven't pulled them, but I can always max that out. Got ten tons of memory chips that I could probably do something with. So look, to me, it looks like a piece of gold. <laughs> Other people's trash is my piece of gold. So uh, anyway, if you have a 400, a XPS 400, we're going to go over this. All right, so stand by. Now, it took about, th I think it was three full recharges of that compressor, okay, uh, to blow out this, uh, all the dust out of this. So go figure how many of the cans it would have taken. Then it probably wouldn't uh, do a very good job. You gotta blow in, the, blow in the vents on both sides of the power supply, okay. You have a processor, a heating cool, a coil down here. And inside there, you can see the grill to the fan. And you have to blow out there. All right, you have to get all this, and you can see some dust is still here, so I'll have to um, do that. That's after blowing the dust here, it came out over here, so I'll probably have to use whatever I left over on the compressor to blow that out. What I don't like on, uh, on this, and the same thing on the other XPS, that's the hard drive down there. And the hard drive sits upside down where the circuitry is on top, and you can see that in there. All right, all the dust, this is the bottom of the computer, okay? All the dust comes from up here, and gravity does this thing called, you know, pulling everything down, and lands right on top of the circuitry. And the same thing over here, the circuitry there, but the fact is, this gets really warm. It's spinning 7200 RPM, okay, and it gets pretty warm in there. That, and of course your uh, your processor has a big heating coil on top, heat sink, uh, on top that draws the heat away from it. So anyway, that's uh, that's as about as clean as it's going to get. I'm probably going to hit the front a little, again a little bit, uh, and then we're going to go on and do some tests on it to see how see how this works. Now I have it in here. Uh, this is the this is the 400. You can see right there. That's my uh, 420. That's in there. That's my test bench. I have a whole bunch of plugs coming out of the back uh, to do to do different things uh, with all these computers. Okay, there's the display. That's my uh, other computer over there. Just uh, lots of stuff. Now, here's something to, to show you. Okay, if it focuses, there we go. All right, there is only one processor on this computer. That's a huge heat sink on that motherboard for just one processor, which is uh, really uh, absurd. <laughs> I just uh, can't believe it. It must have been how this uh, computer was ordered or something, uh, and uh, uh, I have this uh, this being done on a bunch of others. So I'm going to go through do all the diagnostics. Uh, there is two uh, 
two separate 256 uh, DIMM chips inside, which uh, I got a feeling that when this computer was placed on order, they indeed wanted Windows XP and not, you know, have the very low end model because I think the 400 the XPS 400 is a higher end, you know, the full full blown thing like the one I have over there, 420, is uh, is a, a better overall computer. So so uh, there actually might be some. Uh, uh, here's the date on that, uh, 2005 on the BIOS. Okay, well, uh, to me it's not that old. Okay, so now these guys over here are all, uh, all these Dells down here are 2003 uh, to 2004. So those are uh, the GX270s. So this isn't too far behind on this. So um, um, who knows? I, I'm just one of those guys that believe uh, computers last more than 10 years. So, all right, I'll uh, keep you posted on how, uh, how fast. First of all, i got to tell you, when I booted up the operating system, it wouldn't even come up. So I totally understand the customer's uh, or the, the, the owner's uh, original thoughts of how slow it is. So, all the, all the tests uh, with my uh, PC check has passed, and the uh, onboard diagnostics of the hard drive has passed, which is uh, drive zero up there. So uh, as far as hardware goes, all is good. So now uh, I'm going to try and uh, boot up on the safe mode and uh, since uh, normal Windows won't boot up and see what I could do in there. Now by pressing F8, uh, boot up until you hear some beep 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 type thing, uh, that'll take you to this screen. There's no time limit here so you can scroll up and down uh, and reboot and scroll up and down here. Now I'll tell you right now, there's so many times I use this function and everything works good. So that's a really good function. In fact, I might just try that if the safe mode doesn't work. So I'm going to go up here safe mode. Now you can do three different kinds. Kind of, you have the command prompt down below with networking and the safe mode. I'm just going to have the safe mode. Hit enter and you'll see a whole bunch of this saying the Windows Media Edition. I'm going to, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff. It's loading all the drivers and stuff. So uh, I'm not going to have this up to, to show you uh, what it's doing. I hear the hard drive really working good. So I'll bring you back to this. Actually, here it comes. Wow. Okay. So let's see what happens. Safe mode all in all four corners. Okay. Let's see if uh, I wonder if it's going to want a password. Nope. No password required. Okay. Safe mode in all corners. It came up. All right. And we have this in here. And I do want to process in the safe mode. Click yes if you want to uh, prefer system restore. So I'm going to hit yes. Let's see if a restore point will come up. I want to take a look at what's on this. They have McAfee over on the right. You have files waiting to be written in a CD down on the bottom. That, that's I'm not, I'm not saying you do. I'm, just, I'm talking to the computer as in it's a being, okay? <laughs> so so um, I'm just looking at a. Uh, What's up on the desktop and all over? So I wonder if the restore function is going to actually work because I told it I want to restore to a previous condition. So I want to close close this down. What is that? Unused item on the desktop. Ugh, I hate that. That was uh, indicative of uh, Windows. All right. Let's. Uh, See if we can do a, a restore. We're in here just fine. Now, what I would do in here normally is go look at the audit logs and find out what's going on. But um, there's a lot of stuff on this computer. A lot of stuff on this computer. You know, and I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to look at uh, unused icons. So I, I used to hate that. All right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since we got in here successfully, I'm going to restart and go into Windows, normal Windows, and see what happens. Now last time this screen was flashing uh, like blink, you would see it then not see it. So this is good just like it is. I mean uh, it's coming up and maybe I can work with it this way and get into it. But uh, the computer was given to me so uh, and has all the data on it. I, I am going to wipe it clean. I just want to make sure we can get on it. It went blank. Hard drive is still doing stuff. I still have a green light down below. Alright, here it comes. 
and there's the desktop. We did. I did not get in the desktop before. So bring it up in safe mode with a successful launch of safe mode. Safe mode actually allowed me to get back into the computer. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, I would definitely get rid of McAfee. I'm not a McAfee fan at all. Um, that's my opinion. I have my own. Uh, everybody has their own idea about antiviruses. I don't want to get in that debate. So um, anyway, hopefully this video uh, helps you out as far as if you're still running Windows XP um, and other operating systems. You know, sometimes the safe mode actually gets gets you going. But not bad for a computer was just given to me, especially that monitor, big 19-inch monitor. So uh, subscribe if you like. All right, share with a friend. Bye.